Looks like tonight's episode deals with the greatest horror of all, the dreaded friend zone. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode four of season two of Supernatural. People shouldn't play with dead things. Is that it? I think that's the title. This is the first time zombies are introduced into the show and give them credit, they actually do have a unique form of how they go about it. Instead of going with a spiritual voodoo form that's usually kind of been the source from Haiti, they actually go all the way back to Greek times in terms of a spell sort of spiritual thing back in the Greek ages. So give them credit for that because otherwise this episode's kind of eh. It's not a bad episode. It actually has a lot of elements of Dean dealing with his grief in different ways. Instead of f focusing on the idea that his dad is dead, he is internally fueling all of his rage into the idea that he shouldn't be alive, that his dad sacrificed himself to save his life. And he has been given a second chance unfairly. And, and maybe that even feeds all the way back into Faith because someone had to die for Dean to live back in the first season. So he's got double guilt now, double survivor's guilt. This all comes up when they go to see their mother's grave and Dean is able to find a case and Sam and Dean are constantly going back and forth with each other. All the while there is this guy who brought this girl back who he was besties with and now he's in love with her and she's crazy in love with him and killing people. I give the girl credit, I actually think she's a decent actress in this episode because the guy is as bland as a wet sponge. He is so boring. He has literally one face in this entire episode and it's this. I don't know if he's gotten any better since then, but God, he's the weakest part of this damn episode because every time it comes back to him, I keep on wanting to go. Just close your mouth, damn it! You're not Kristen Stewart! I do like at the end of the episode where Dean just slides into the grave and stabs her right in the chest. However, I do find it kind of bizarre that they're able to dig up this grave twice in what, the same weekend? And no one says anything? Kind of bizarre that they don't get caught for this. This episode really stands out as not much, especially with the previous episode being such a cool villain. This one's kind of an eh idea, but they had to tackle zombies eventually, right? Because they're gonna tackle it way worse in further seasons. Either way, the fourth episode isn't a standout episode. It's not really a big episode, but it's not a bad one either. So I'm definitely gonna give Shouldn't play with dead things, a four out of seven. Now let's see what you guys had to say in the comments. All right, so the first one here is Cosner. Children shouldn't play with dead things. Dean, tell me what she was like, what she was really like, Angela's friend. She was great, just great. She was so, Dean with a half annoyed face, great. Also, Dean catching Sam watching Casa Erotica 4 classic supernatural humor all in all a decent episode but not the best are this season or the worst i totally forgot actually to mention the casa erotica part because that's a joke that just keeps coming back and it's actually still pretty good despite how long that joke's been around for we got one here from pi the build-up in season two just how to just how angry and worried dean was is so good i miss this type of writing in the show where we could see the character prog progress instead of it being spelled out for us are sped up due to lazy, cheap entertainment. Yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening with the recent seasons. I also like that they made you think it's because his father is dead when it was because of so much more. The best part of the next episode is when Dean slides into the grave and the look on his face when he says dead things should stay dead. It brings a greater impact to his decision to bring Sam back later. Yes, actually, that is true. That is very much true. That's going to be a big uh, pivotal point at the end of the season. Joe here with children shouldn't play with dead things is another case of where the writers try to be original on how to kill zombies. It's interesting because this is where you'd realize Dean feels dead inside like a zombie. It definitely comes more so in season five, especially when they, ve they meet famine, but that's going to be something that I will eventually get to talk about. And then final one here with Rob Hanna. This episode is one of the first episodes where we get to see where they talk about Mary. Up until this point, it's been mostly the boys and their relationship with their dad. We never really knew much about how they felt about their mother, especially Dean, since he was old enough to remember her. I love this point in the series where her death was a full point sadly later seasons would ruin that whole thing by bringing her back yes 100% yes season 12 bringing her back was the worst decision they could have made Dean's unwillingness to go to her grave and then they stumble upon a case forcing him to go next episode we're coming up to is Simon said which actually I do very much like this episode that we're coming into at least I did we'll see if I still do anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads.
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.